two bottom John Deere plow on the back of that Super M. Floppy guide wheel on the back there. It's working though. You guys remember this setup from last year maybe? If you saw a plow video last year. Complimented him on how nice the plow was set up. He said, yeah, still from when we set it up last year. <laughs> Why mess with it if it works? I mean, look at that. That is nice. Could maybe get the furrow a little cleaner, but I don't think anybody's complaining. That is laying a beautiful furrow right there. Look at that. All right.
Pretty good turnout today. I am very happy with it. Got lunch time. Everybody's having lunch up here. Seem to be enjoying it. Got the Alice party right here. It looks like. Couple sitting down there. Pretty good turnout. Ground is plowing up just perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Look at how much dirt it is. We were, first year I was turning up a lot of clay. 
and now look at it. it makes me happy. So after we eat here, we'll get you some more footage. Thanks for watching so far. It's not me in the sea. <laughs> So I haven't got to see this tractor plowing at all from the outside yet. The gentleman that's driving, his name's Dean. You guys may have seen him commenting on the YouTube channel. That's how we met. Now here he is driving one of my workhorses. Grinning ear to ear too in there. <laughs> AC's working. I mean, you can't. It's hard to beat that thing, you know. It really is a nice ride. I mean, you could spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars or better and buy a new one. I guess maybe that'd beat it. But look at this thing fighting. Look at it. <laughs> I told him to let it eat if it would, but it's not gonna pull it up. There you go. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard back here and it never really dries out no matter what it never dries out that that red clay it's just never dries out <laughs> go catch these guys over here all the super m's fighting for traction over there he found some of that hard clay down there too oh he had to pull the plow out actually This, uh, this ground down here will make you wish you brought one less bottom. As you guys seen the 7060 there. Just that type of soil. It's always been like that. But uh, the first year I plowed it, I had 516s on the back of one of them and was down in first gear just scratching. Um, no way I'd have been able to pull the 518s like that. So Let's see what happens here. They're finding it now. Been easy going until now, huh, boys? <laughs> I mean, he's only got two 14s on the back of there, you know? And, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about the tractor either. It's just... That's just how hard the ground is. And then uh, that being a pull type, it's, it's so much farther back. If you look at the, the mounted one here, how close it is to the tractor and sucking down, it just, it makes a big difference. As most of you know, probably didn't even need to, to point that out, but makes me feel like I'm knowledgeable that way, guys. And then uh, a few guys were clogging up, so I another gentleman that I actually just met older fella grew up farming 190 said was the biggest house he ever drove so I couldn't help to to put him in that and he's in there the AC is parking he's the most comfortable one out of all of us probably <laughs> Yeah, it's hard, boys. Everybody smiles and thumbs up today, ladies and gentlemen. You can't beat it. Sun shining. Uh, well, it's like 83 degrees, and I don't know what the humidity is, but it's warm enough, that's for sure. Everybody's sweating, but. I guess it could have been about 10 degrees cooler. However, 
everybody's still enjoying themselves having a great time out here so so here's another one of those sections this this hill I mean this was all exclusively red clay and it's to the point now I mean there's still clay there don't get me wrong but you're starting to see there's actually a brown blackish color to it instead of clay I'm just every year I see how much better the soil's getting and um, I didn't do soil samples this year I wish I would have but it'll be all right we'll do them next year and it'll be twice as good right and then I'll get a I'm gonna do a video when I do that we'll compare my soil samples from when I started to how it is now Old mighty D14 with race tires on it. Look at the tread on them. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> well, that plow is doing nice. You can see right, right at that section was where he's started he's done the two four six of them now and I mean they are just perfectly uniform with what he's plowing it's really hard to get everybody's plows set right and, um, so you'll notice the differences in plows it's just what it is when you have a plow day the disc fixes it all speaking of disc I think old boy's having himself a good time in there he got in it and hasn't looked back <laughs> Plus the air conditioning of that thing is ice cold, so that's got to be comfortable. We'll get over there and get a close up. <laughs> Thumbs up, grinning near to ear. <laughs> I'd say he's enjoying himself. I said, the clutch in this thing's pretty stiff. He said, well, I've been driving a dump truck all week. So, well, all right. <laughs> that Oliver, wait for him to get over here. It just continues to get harder. So I saved, I need to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. Get your guess tomorrow. Here comes this Oliver. Now it's got plenty of power, but it's fighting for traction. It looks like he dropped a gear too, because boy, it's just it's just that type of ground you got to. You guys seen how the 7060 reacted in it? Yeah, I hear that thing. Man, those things are beast. I if there's obviously we we've got the 99 up there, but. If there's another Oliver that I would ever want to have, it's, it's one of them models, you know. I'd like to have the cock shut the Mini and the Oliver just sitting just because. <laughs> They're just cool. I mean, look at it. Look at the front end of that thing. Isn't that badass? Love it. good tires on there too so pretty sure he's he's down a gear from what he was plowing but still Oliver took those four bottoms up that hill like it was nothing there you go nice clay in there there's Ted Biscuit on a diesel D17 and Bill Dites over there the 730 John Deere Hopefully they come over here and we'll get some more footage of them. And Justin Cluck on the W400, you don't see them very often. Like matter of fact, I've never seen one other than that one, so there's that. Oh, he's having some issues. 
He said he needed a little bit more weight on it. I just walked up to one spot, worm, worm right there, right there, right there, part of one there, and I mean that's just right here. The activity is getting better and better every year, I love it. Alright, here comes the old smoking diesel, look at the plume that sucker's rolling. This thing's so nice, he just overhauled this tractor. So this is his break in. It's hard over here. <laughs> Look at that thing fighting. <laughs> the tie weights, you know, that's just. He's proud of that tractor and um, there's good reason for it. That is a nice little 14. All right, here comes Ted. Pulling the four bottom, the old diesel. <laughs> Love it. Love watching these old things work. Bill on the Johnny Popper. This was right around some of the last models that they made with the two cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but. <laughs> He's rocking a four bottom two. You guys got to see uh, four different colors go by with a four bottom plow. Put down in the comments. Which plow, which setup do you guys think is doing the best job? Which one do you think is the coolest? I'd like to hear. Um, boy, I don't know. Ted, he's not getting his furrow quite clean. I don't think he's got her set quite right yet. He said he was having problems with it. He got here late. Ted's plow was doing pretty darn good, but that Oliver now, that Oliver was, uh, man, that thing is dialed in, let's put it that way. I'm going to have to move the truck after this pass here. Comes the 4020. Knows it's back there. Not doing too bad either. Not cleaning the furrow the best, but is the coulter, that last coulter was messed up on it. We knew that, or he knew that coming in. Oh well. Alright, get my truck out of the way. Get some more footage. I'm loving this. Duty plow to uh, up in Oliver's with that round beam. Really neat plow. Doing pretty good. Not 
I think the Oliver might be cleaning the furrow just a little bit better though. Hate to admit it. This thing though, I mean, this thing is just running good, plowing good. Almost concrete. Almost. He said almost concrete if you guys didn't hear him. <laughs> yeah, if, if he was here the first year I plowed it, uh, with the way it's fighting, I don't, I can't say that. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. They'd be able to pull it. They'd be able to pull it. I can't guarantee they'd be able to pull it, but it looks like Justin wasn't able to pull his with that W400. He tried to make a pass and turned around there, so not enough weight on it. Not for this crap. <laughs>
I can't be the only one that enjoys watching the dead furrows disappear like that, right? Can't just be me. Can't be the only weirdo. <laughs> but, uh, Cloud Day 2023 is a wrap.